everyone, my name is Ryan, and today I'll be showing you how to use the Install Manager to install Daz Studio. So first we're going to want to open up a web browser and go to daz3d.com slash home and click this green button, get started here. So we're going to be taken to this page to register an account or log in if you already have one. But before we do that, we want to make sure that our computer is up to speed. So we're going to open Read More About Daz Studio and scroll all the way to the bottom of the page and check out the system requirements. The system requirements are listed for Windows and Mac, 32 and 64 bit. So once you've verified this, we're going to come back to this page and register for an account. So once we've registered our accounts and confirmed our emails, we'll be taken to this page, letting us know that the automatic download should begin. So we can see at the bottom here that it has. I'm gonna open up this file and we'll be guided through a setup process. Now that the setup process is complete, you'll notice that we have a shortcut for the install manager onto our desktop, and the install manager will open automatically. We'll be asked to enter in our login credentials that we use to log into the DAD site. Once we've entered in that information, we'll be able to start downloading our product library. It should automatically begin, but if it doesn't, just click this white box here next to products and start queue. This should automatically install your product library for you, as well as DAS Studio. Alright, now that the download queue has cleared out, let's check the ready to install tab to make sure that everything installed correctly. And we can see here that the Photoshop bridge did not install correctly. And there may also be a GoZ install path that will fail. Uh, these, these are two common uh, products that fail to install sometimes with the initial download of Daz Studio. Don't worry, um, unless you plan on using those applications immediately, it's not going to prevent Daz Studio from operating correctly, and we'll have a video out on that soon uh, showing how to define paths for the Photoshop bridge. So, we'll notice that a shortcut for Daz Studio was created, which means that it was installed correctly. Let's launch that up. We'll be asked one more time to enter in our login credentials. Alright. Now that we've completed this, you're all ready to go. As a way to double check our work, just to make sure that everything installed correctly, you can go to Content Library, DAS Studio Formats, My DAS 3D Library, and go down to People. And we're just going to load any figure. We'll do the Genesis 8 Mail for now. And that seems to have loaded correctly. So that'll do it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope it was helpful. And be sure to be on the lookout for more videos coming soon.